What's going on, guys? Thanks for stopping by the channel, and today we're going to fight this beautiful boss, an elite known as Geo Hippostasis. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, we haven't fought Geo before. You can see that we've explored most of the map at this point, really all of the map that's currently available in the open beta. But we haven't fought this particular boss yet. We fought the other cubes, but not this one. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see how we do. Mm, before we go in, I'm going to adjust my party slightly. Since Geo typically requires other Earth characters to do well against it, I think we're going to want to make sure that we have at least one Earth character in our party. It'd probably be good to convert the main character into being Geo, but if you have other characters like Noelle from the beginning banner, you can go ahead and I use will her protect as well. you. Our Noel, so people can understand, has had quite a bit of investment into her, including a four-star weapon that we crafted ourselves, and we've also been able to limit break it once so that it's up to level 40. Here we go. Geo Hippostasis. Elemental creatures who protect themselves from incoming attack with their durable shell find an opportune moment to land a blow to their elemental core. They are able to create Geo constructs in fights and restore their health when they feel threatened. You must be able to efficiently destroy these constructs if you want to defeat these creatures. And what that basically means is, and you'll see it happen, when we get it down to the almost no health, it's not actually defeated. We'll have to solve another puzzle once it reaches low health, or it will keep recovering. What is this? Interesting. Someone needs assistance. Oh, oh, wow. So I think we obviously want to break this thing because it has a health bar. That also has a health bar, so we can break them both. Cool. We can actually tear these down. It's probably worth it. But see how it's like floating on top of one? It's gonna keep landing on I must leave no stone unturned. I don't realize this thing's also like floating. It's like way above us. Woo! Big hammer. Alright, so there it's vulnerable after it doesn't attack. We can come in, we were pretty far away, so we're gonna be able to hit it twice. That's how you do damage to it. What do you guys think? Just an uh, opportunity for us to break these, I guess. Someone needs assistance. I'm actually gonna break this down rather than try to go over because I obviously can't attack it right, it's too hard. So this is why you need stone. This is why stone is really important. Because if we weren't stone here... Ooh! If we weren't stone here, we wouldn't be able to break those efficiently. So you'll have to use the main character uh, and turn him into Geo. I keep saying stone, but I mean Geo. Otherwise, it won't, it won't work. I must leave no stone unturned. That's interesting. That was like homing the target. Oh, I ran. I missed a spot. Sorry, guys. It's <laughs> a hard fight. That's sick. So that's a good way for to use the machine gun strategies to just hide behind these things and get to break them themselves. Go. I must leave no 
And don't get greedy with that. I think it will end up bad for you. So at this point, I mean, we could just try. I don't think it's gonna do much yet. This is really meant to be a, a geo fight. Should have ran up and beat on it. Interesting. So we're not actually going to be able to whack this. This is new. What is this? Oh, that's just that targeting. Okay. He's done that just before. I just didn't realize he changed. So that's good. You can look for that particular adjustment. done so much work to tear these down. That's gonna be a problem for us though. Yeah, we took a little damage there. I guess we can shoot her. What else do we have to do, right? <laughs> I don't think this does any damage. Yeah, so you really need Geo characters for this. Make sure to turn the main character to Geo as well. I probably shouldn't have done that before. Someone needs assistance. That's so cool that you could use that as a way to help break this. I really like that. We need to whack this middle one down. I'll catch up.
so we're not going to be able to knock him down there. We'll just start beating on this one. This is our only pillar left, we would have just had to run it out the whole time. Let's see if we can see what he's doing. Like now, keep in mind, my world level is set to 2 right now. So he's level 41 for me, but he may be a lower level for you when you fight him. And you definitely can fight him in world 1. The key is understanding what are the game mechanics, what are his attacks, how do you avoid his attacks, what units do you need. You're definitely going to need a Geo unit to do this fight. That I feel pretty confident so I don't think this would be possible without a Geo unit. Someone needs assistance. So you can see how we're going to break him out. To me. And this is going to be key to taking him down. He's going to heal from the one that we don't break, which might be this one also. We'll get two. That's not bad. I don't think we have time for the third one. So you can see he recovers health, but if we were able to kill all three of those, we would have uh, been able to beat him right then and there. And honestly, I might have been able to do all three if I used my ulti. I didn't use my ulti there, and it would have given me a wider range of attack. Which might have allowed us to finish him off. That goes through this. Okay. Keep that in mind also. Oh, look at that! We killed it right as he went to uh, uh, channel it. That's funny. Finish him here. Yeah. Yep. We'll be able to finish him off here. Pretty cool for a first time fighting it. And the reason I understood how the mechanics worked is because I fought all the other ones so far. So there we go. It costs 40 resin to open up your rewards, which is the stamina system. And you can see how much resin you have by simply opening your map and looking at the top right. All right, let's see what we get. Cool. We check our inventory. Nope, oh, this is food. Sorry. I think it's in here with all my books. All right, I'm lost. Here it is. This tab. The card tab. So that's what we got. And you can see that 
you'll get different rewards. So if you're fighting like the flower bosses, like Pyro Regis Vines, which we made a video about, um, you can have uh, two of these drop per those. Same thing with Oceanids and the Cryo Regis Vines. But for the elementals, it's a, it's a crapshoot. Sometimes you get two, sometimes you get one. So we beat this boss once, we got two. We've beaten this boss once, we got two. And this time we only got one for Geo. So we'll have to fight Geo more to get enough to do our upgrades. Where does this stuff get used? Well, glad you asked. If you go in and you look at someone like Noelle, and we go to ascend her, you can see that the Geo material is used here. So in order to ascend her, and raise her level cap from 40 to 50, we're gonna need to fight this boss one more time. And we're also gonna need to go out into the field and find some of these ball berries. But she'll be a lot stronger when we do it. And we've already ascended one character up past their maximum. Each ascension mark is shown by the stars up here. Max ascension appears to be six times, which I think will get you to level 90. Let's see, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Yeah, makes sense. All right. Leave it to me. All of it. Whatever it is. What exactly is it? I didn't quite catch your request. Yeah, what she said. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, and hopefully this helps you beat the boss if you're stuck. And uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and subscribe. I'll be making more Genshin Impact content over the coming months and possibly years. All right. Thanks so much. And have a good day.